Shabbat Shalom. Only this. Only this you must do. Only this Adonai is asking you. So what does Adonai demand of Yisrael? To revere Adonai, our God, to walk on God's road. Only this, only this. And yet, combined with Sedek Sedek Tirdof, from this Shabbat Harsha, justice should we pursue and peace. We get a roadmap for living in a way that God and our faith requires. We are a people of meets vote, following commands and guidance that ensure ethical living with a moral compass set on God and a heart that leads the way. Our Veah after prayer is a part of the Shema and its blessings that acknowledges the oneness of God, our God, as the one true God, at a time when there were many, many other gods and many other idols that were worshipped. We are a people of action. The Veah Hafta outlines the actions that we must take to love God, to teach this to our children, and to live with God always in our heart, with our soul, and all our might. Especially in biblical times, setting ourselves apart from others who would not observe the commandments or live in the light of a faith-based life centered on Adonai, the one true God. All of this was designed to guide us, to ensure our commitment, and to aid our path forward. Life is difficult. It's challenging at best. There are many different paths toward wholeness and peace. What is most required is that we are healthy, that we are whole, that we are morally good, and that we're always pursuing justice. Sedek Sedek Kirdov. Justice, justice shall you pursue. If we pursue justice and all of our paths are filled with peace, then the madness and the chaos will fall away and all will be good. The challenge is that humanity as a whole is derailed, especially since COVID. Our collective reality personally and globally is skewed Things are not so clearly defined. They're not so black and white. We are living in the gray, and that seems to be more the norm, or some even living totally off the page in a reality that is skewed and even harmful to others. Reality gets more unreal every day. Do not feel this. There is more of a divide amongst humans, all of us, brothers and sisters sharing this planet, than one would even think possible. We share this life. We share our world. And it's getting harder and harder to agree on anything. In a sense, it's almost like going back thousands and thousands of years when many different idols and gods were worshipped. Coming together in the embrace of the one true God could actually help and maybe even be the cure. Everyone, and I want to go on record as saying this, and I am not being political, everyone has the right to think, feel, and observe with the embrace that they feel connected to, within that embrace of what makes them feel whole. This is why I'm so committed to officiating interfaith weddings. This is why I got ordained. And this is one of the reasons why we are so inclusive, that nobody has the right to hurt another human being ever or animal. We are meant to be good and pure and loving. And yet it is becoming increasingly more challenging for everyone to be free to just be. That being said, Judaically, Adonai is the path forward. Adonai is the path of peace. When we are aligned on the side of justice and that truth, the path forward will be filled with peace.
Happy are those who dwell in the house of God. They will sing his or her praises forever. What does Adonai demand of Israel? To love and serve God with all our heart, all our soul, the laws and the commandments to uphold. Only this, only this, and static, static, turdof, justice, justice shall be pursued. Happy are those who dwell in justice, who act with righteous justice and do as our Torah states. One who acquires a good name does so for oneself. One who does so with words of Torah acquires everlasting life. As we approach our Yamin Noraim, our holiest of days, let us contemplate the road forward. What does that mean for us? What does that look like? Let us visualize and manifest our destiny. Let us contemplate who we are, how we can do better. Let us contemplate what our relationship to God is and what our relationship to faith is. And then let us take action. Let us show up to all the services. Let us do the work. And let us know that what we do matters. Our lives, the lives of those that we love and our entire global humanity depends on it. It is said that one who saves a life saves the whole world. And there have been so many lives lost due to injustice and hate. And this has got to stop. We have to pray with all of our might for things to change. We have to come in here and we have to be the change. Recently, every High Holy Days we observe every single year, it seems to get worse. It seems to get more and more critical that our prayer matters, that showing up matters. Come to the four services, which, like I said, are just a few short weeks away, and build, build upon your own experience, build upon each other. Even if those of you are watching online, we can be the catalyst for the change that is possible and necessary. We can be the catalyst for all, all to truly be free. Each one of us can make a difference, even by just refusing to let that negativity take hold amidst the madness and by keeping faith alive for ourselves and for everyone. So what does Adonai demand of Israel? To love and to serve God with heart and soul, the laws and the commandments to uphold only this, only this. As we go through this Shabbat and we begin this month of Elul, let us remember what we are capable. Let us think about this rich history that's in our DNA. Let us activate it. Let us activate the good that is in each and every one of us. Let us do the work necessary to receive the light, to receive the correction and the redemption that is possible at this time, not just for ourselves alone, but for everyone. And let us remember, one who lives by the words and the light of Torah acquires everlasting life. Can you hear what's so may it be God's will for those of us here and for those in the beyond. Shabbat Shalom.